a couple of other funky little arpeggio shapes for sweeping practice. Um, what I'm doing there is I'm using a couple of four string patterns that I like to do because they sound a little bit more interesting than the, the more typical three string shapes. So what I'm doing is a couple of major arpeggios and then a minor one and just by using different uh, combinations of the strings you get a bit more of an interesting rhythmic thing happening. Let me show you. So we're doing a C major which is pulling off from the 15th to the first, first string, uh, 13th fret on the second, 12th on the third, and then the 14th fret of the fourth string. So, okay, so that's the four string shape. And do exactly the same thing, two frets higher. So they're good to practice just running those together. And then I'm going to the minor inversion, which is this shape here. We're going to do, what is it, 19th to the 15th on the first string, 17th fret on the second, 16th on the third, 17th on the fourth string, and 19th on the fifth. Straight um, downward sweep. All of these have got to pull off at the start. So slowed down, this pattern sounds like this. Again, keep the speed where you can hear every note like that before you try and bump it up. See, I'm doing it too fast. So uh, anyways, let's all go home and practice. Now another little variation on that one is this. Okay, that's back to the three string pattern. So uh, let me just play it for you. I think you'll get the idea. So I'm doing the major arpeggio sound like this. So I'm repeating those first two notes to pull off at the end. Two frets higher. And then that same descending. Uh, and there's one more that I was doing as well, mixing the last two patterns up. So starting with exactly what we just did. Then doing the four string. And then into the... 